Good morning, <clears throat> Mr. Minister, who is leaving. But above all, of course, all the people present here. Good morning. It's really a pleasure to be here at this conference, which we know has been rebranded for a very good cause. Enlargement is now the big priority on which we are concentrating. And I think we all around are looking for some good news. And the perspective of enlargement certainly is the good news for the European Union, as well as for the countries at our, as, our as our neighbors. Because all through our history, enlargement has only brought positive elements to the European Union. First of all, let's look at the economic side. It may, has made, as will the next enlargement, has made our internal market stronger, has made our economies grow, has given benefits to the European uh, businesses and citizens. And certainly when you look at the next round of enlargement, this has exactly the same perspective of making our economy grow. Secondly, we have always, throughout the enlargement circles, looked at the possibilities of then reforming the European Union. Each time, this time will be no difference. We will look at how, what we can do to make sure that our system works better. But this is something that has organically been the process of each enlargement all through the past decades and decades. And thirdly, which is by now the most important part, is the geopolitical side of it. We are not in a position to believe anymore that if we just sit and wait, nobody else will take our, our, our position in those countries who adhere to be the members of the European Union. And with this in mind, we really are making the efforts in the European Commission in making sure that we bring our countries who've express their very clear willingness to adhere to European values, to be part of our common way of thinking, our common way of acting, and make sure that they can do that together with us. So uh, I think from the, um, we've heard it many times over the past year and a half, a little bit more even by now, that the European Union has turned geopolitical. The enlargement decisions that the European Commission put forward a few weeks ago are the clearest examples of that yet. We really are taking this process seriously and we want to make sure that we uh, make our union stronger because this is what it all is about. So thank you very much for being here today and I look very much forward to the discussions which will look at each and every element of, of the enlargement package and what has to be done next. Thank you so much. Thank you.